Hello and welcome to another Red Gaming Tech video. My name is Amata. Today is the 4th of April and we have some Crisis 3 news for you today as a new patch has been released, patch 1.3 which is hitting both the console and PC versions and I will be going through all the multi-platform fixes as well as the exclusives for each of the platforms that which is of course PC, Xbox 360 and PS3. So let's just jump straight into the fixes as there's quite a few. Uh, the first I'm going to list off are the multi-platform fixes. So there's going to be a reduction in bandwidth usage, fix an issue where other players weapons may not be visible when joining the game. The scout perk now saves progress correctly. Fix for rip and throw items occasionally entering a state where players cannot interact with them. Fix for relay not capturing correct if the carrier is within the cap zone when the friendly relay is returned. End around audio now works correctly. Fix for nanovisor being locked in some cases. Fix crashes freezes at the start of the game after the boss fight. Some save games still might not be functioning 100% so a restart of the last level may be required. Fixed issue with boss not being triggered correctly and thus not appearing at all. Some save games may, still may not be functioning 100%, so again, a restart may be required. Fixed extended magazine attachment of the scar to not lose 10 clips anymore after each death of the player. Fixed secret email not unlocking properly after collecting all intel in the levels. Fixed for after much award dog tags failing to unlock. So the next list to go into is the PC exclusive fixes, but as I said, I will be listing the other consoles, so... Do keep listening. So, there will now be an option to turn off squad and clan support when balancing, anti-cheat improvements, ability to customise sorry, ADS sensitivity through console commands, fixes for weapon customization when bound to a non-default key, fix for v-sync not applying on first boot of the game even if on menus, fix draw near FOV being reset every player spawn, AMD features iInfinity DBT sorry, and HD 3D support, Improvements made regarding the SLI performance issues. Additional fix for limit number of muted DX bug runtime error to bare minimum to help tracking issues early. So that's all of the ex, uh, excuse me, the PC exclusive fixes. But now we're on to the Xbox 360 exclusive fixes. Uh, there's not that many here. There's only a few. So let's just get in. Minimize risk of crash when transitioning from single player to multiplayer when in party active VoIP. Fix for aim assist not working correctly in some areas of the maps. Fix an issue. Fix for an issue that could cause host migration failures. Potential fixes for issues related to audio stuttering. And finally, we only have a couple of fixes for the PS3. And those are fix for aim assist not working correctly in some areas of the maps. And fix an issue that could horse cause host migration failures. So yes, quite an extensive patch as I'm sure you will agree. And uh, they seem to be pretty much applying to both single player and multiplayer with a few multiplayer specific ones. But hopefully those uh, fixes will help you guys with any issues that you might have been having with your version of the game. I suggest that if you haven't already acquired the patch that you do so immediately. As of course you may be suffering from some of these issues. Anyway that's me done for this fairly short video. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye for now.